Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I've got the Cub Cadet 127 today. Gonna do a little work on that. I got a friend of mine who's got a new construction home and he needs to put in a yard, grass, so he has to borrow the tractor with the tiller on it, which is my Cub 127. So I wanna just get this rolling. Hasn't been ran in a few months, so I wanna get it running top notch for him so there's no issues. So we got the battery, we just plugged that in, charging that up. I noticed we've got a slow tire leak and I've got some other rims and tires that are actually weighted with uh, winter washer fluid in them. So I'm gonna stick those on there for them. And I'll just fire this puppy up and make sure we're running good. So in the little deal here, you can see I've mounted this Craftsman snow plow to it. I want to take that off so my buddy's got easier access around his yard and such. And I'll show you how easy that is to take that, that off. Just a couple cotter pins. No big deal. On this 127, when I got it, it didn't have a grill. So I made a new grill for it. Adjusted the valves on it. And I got a hold of my friend Charlie Proctor in northern Minnesota with Cub Cadet Specialties for some little parts I needed. So I needed new wiring harness. We got that all done. I had pulled it out so you could see the cleanliness involved of the of Charlie's parts that he I believe he makes and ships all over the country. So if you're into Cub Cadets, I'd recommend you checking out his uh, website, Cub Cadet Specialties. Like I said, he's in northern Minnesota, super nice guy. Um, so I got some parts from him for this from him for this Cub Cadet 127. I also got parts for him on my 122, wherever that went. Oh, right in front of it. And my 129 back there with the loader. So uh, another guy I really like going to is Matt Seberg in Reeder, North Dakota. And he's the one I actually bought the 122 from, the one I got the tiller from, and the one I got the front end loader from. And Matt uh, travels all over North Dakota, Minnesota, Nebraska, South Dakota, Montana, I'm sure, Wyoming probably. And he's always scoping out good tractor deals. So if he can set up a deal where you buy a big item from him, he can ship it or wait a few months. And while he's out collecting tractors on one of his little scavenger hunts, um, you know, he can drop those items off at your place if you live in one of those states. So a uh, big shout out to... My friend Matt and my friend Charlie, uh, because they kind of make this these old Cub Cadets still viable because they're out searching, they're out getting parts, brand new parts, new old stock parts, used parts. Both of them guys, uh, I don't have enough good things to say about either one of them. So, uh, let's see if we can get a shot of this tire that I noticed is kind of losing air. I don't know if you can see in the video, but it's bulging a little bit. So, I could probably just fill it up run it over to my buddies and he'll be buying fine for a few weeks but I've got those weighted tires I want to put on here anyway so in the winter uh, the back ends a little bit heavier uh, for pushing snow so we're gonna get that plow off swap out these rims and tires and then fire this puppy up dial in the carburetor make sure this thing's running top-notch for my friend so thank you for tuning in like subscribe bell for notifications YouTube blah 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 stuff all right Thank you much. All right, it's been a while since I've assembled or deassembled this Craftsman plow. I bought this Craftsman plow when I bought my first ever garden tractor brand new when I was brand new to a home. I should say lawn tractor. This is a garden tractor. My Craftsman 917 model is just a lawn tractor. Lower it. Okay, so as I recall, this pin and that pin.
right, so we got that plow off a whole one or two minutes. So that's good to go. We're going to jack up this back end, rip these tires off, swap them out. Oh, what's our guess here? 9 sixteenths. Terrible guess. 5 eighths. That sounds better. Grab our Dewalt. All right. Got our Dewalt here. Impact wrench. 5 eighths. And just kind of playing with the governor adjustment. All right, now that we got that 127 dialed in tires changed, now we're over on the 129. We had already grabbed those wheel weights off of that free garden tractor we got in a prior video. So we took those wheel weights off and just putting in the carriage bolts here to secure the wheel weights onto the 129. All right, wheel weights taken off the free garden tractor and put on the old 129 with the front end loader. So now what we're going to do is go burn some weeds. Alright, so under all those weeds, I've got my rocks that I'm going to use for landscaping. But because we're so close to the lake, I don't want to spray the weeds with weed killer. I prefer to hit them with the propane torch. One, it's fun. And two, you know, this way we're not getting any of that poison from weed killer down into the lake or whatever. It's dirty enough the way it is. So we're just burning these weeds off. So when I go to grab the rocks, I can see what I'm doing, and there's just less stuff in my way. So, enjoy me running that uh, propane torch. As you can see, this little doe decided to come check out uh, my projects for the day. He's probably already liked and subscribed to my channel. I should say she. 
probably has already done that. There's another shot of her. She was bothering me all day. Kind of cool. So here's our project real quickly. You saw where I put those railroad ties. We're going to grab these railroad ties, kind of shift them around with the loader. Use a tow strap, tow them over there and drop them next to the shop there. And then in between the railroad ties and the shop, we'll do some river rock is what they call it. So we got all our railroad ties moved for the day. Now I just kind of need to dig down a little bit and get those set into place. And then we can put down a weed barrier and we can go scoop rocks from that rock pile where we cleared the brush from today. Very busy day. Well guys, we didn't quite get everything done uh, that we wanted with the railroad ties and the landscaping, but we got a really good start. We got a lot of stuff done with the tractors, so we'll see you in a couple days, and we'll pick up where we left off. So thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, bell for notifications. All right, see you later.